Hey, what's up, guys? This is Garrett from Audio Owner. Uh, just coming back again. I want to show you a quick way to Roger Drums and Reason with the Kong. Last time we checked it out with Redrum. Um, and then we'll do a little quick one on how you use Kong. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and start a uh, new file here. And uh, get rid of this one. Alright, so what you want to do is go ahead and we'll set the tempo somewhere around uh, we'll do 84 this time yeah, totally different right okay so go ahead and create your 14 by 2 mixer and then from the mixer we'll create a Kong drum designer and my patches aren't installed so alright so go ahead now and create yourself a uh, quick little drum pattern, kick, ride, snare, just something uh, we can have three or four different channels. Okay, now that we got our little drum track there, um, I've got a kick, snare, and a ride loaded on drums one, two, and three pads here. And so we can see that they're all coming in through channel one on the mixer. Uh, so what we're going to do now is hit the tab key on the keyboard, so we go to the back and we'll see that we're routed stereo output um, so what we'll do is um, it routes the Kong seems to route in pairs um, and my lim my experience with this is a little bit limited uh, but the concept is the same uh, we'll go ahead and if you want in the kick and stereo you can have it in stereo but we'll remove these here and we'll just put everything in mono for the time being if you want it in stereo just don't hold shift when you when you grab the uh, <coughs> grab the wire there alright so we'll go from channel 3 click it hold shift and put that into channel 1 of the mixer we're gonna do the same thing for channel 5 we'll skip over channel 4 drag this hold shift and put it in channel 2 and then for 7 we'll do the same thing put that into channel 3 and the reason we do that is because they are outputted as stereo pairs we're only wanting uh, left channel mono, which if you're going to go mono and you have a stereo pair, you need to go for the left channel. So we'll hit the tab key again, and now within Kong, we need to select the pads, go over here to the bottom left of the Kong where it says show drum and effects, and then right here at the bottom you'll see drum output, and this this one's right as a master effects by default. Uh, select the button choose output three and four for the uh, first drum here and then now we'll go to the second drum and do the same thing except for we'll put this on five and six and then to the ride pad we'll do the same and go to output seven and eight so now when we trigger our pads the kick which you see is on output three and four but we're only going output three because we went left mono so now we we show up here in channel one in the mixer and the snare which is on the second pad output it to five and six so it's only coming in on the channel five so we got channel two on a mixer here and then of course the ride here on the mixer channel three which is being sent out the output on channel 7 so now we can uh, come in here and uh, do some great stuff like um, you know add some nice reverb and we can bust it across the mixer you hear the drum track there and now we come in here and add some reverb to say the snare make it ridiculous and 80 style Anyway, hope that helps.